Okay, here's another example of a mixture problem, a little bit different. In this case, again, we end up with, uh, or we start with two solutions. Uh, one is a 12% salt solution, and the other one is a 20% salt solution, so we're going to mix those together. They tell you uh, that you have six gallons of the 20% solution. They don't tell you how many gallons you have of the 12% solution. Matter of fact, that's what they're looking for. They said, how many of gallons of the 12% solution do you have to mix with six gallons of the 20% solution to end up with a 15% salt solution and they don't tell you how many gallons you'll end up with. So again, the same approach is that we're going to add up some mixture uh, to another mixture and that will result in a final mixture. And again, in each case, we write down what the percentage of each solution is. So the first is a 12% solution. The second one is a 20% solution. And the final mixture you end up with is a 15% solution. So you write down the percent solution of each mixture. Then you write down how many gallons you have of each. Now, the only one that you know that of is this one right here. So we have six gallons of this solution. You don't know how many gallons you have of this solution, so we'll write just simply x gallons. And then, of course, if you add them together, then here you'll have x plus 6 gallons in the final solution. Like that. Again, if these are salt solutions, then if you multiply the amount of gallons you have with the percentage, you multiply together, you have the total amount of salt in this solution. When you multiply these together, you have the total amount of salt in this solution. And then when you multiply these two together, you have the total amount of salt in this solution. And logic says that if you add up the salt in this solution plus the salt in this solution, that should add up to the salt in this solution. So 12% times x plus 20% times 6 equals 15% times x plus 6. Okay, now we simply have to solve this algebraically. Uh, we turn the percent into a decimal first, so this becomes 0.12x plus 0.20 times 6 equals 0.15 times x plus 6. So now we have to multiply both sides of the equation by a number to get rid of the decimal places. And since there's two decimal places here, two there, two there, we'll multiply the left side by 100. We'll multiply the right side by 100 to get rid of the decimals. So 100 times 0.12 is 12x. 100 times 0.20 is 20 times 6. And 100 times 0.15 is 15 times x plus 6. Next step is to get rid of the parentheses. We have parentheses here and there, so we multiply these out. We get 12x plus 120 equals 15x plus 90. The next step is to move, move all the terms with the x to the left side, all the other numbers to the right side. So we have 12x minus 15x. Remember, when you move something across the equal sign, the sign changes. This is equal to 90. And then we move the 120 over, it becomes minus 120. 12x minus 15x minus 3x. 90 minus 120 is minus 30. Then divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient of x. That cancels out. We have x equals 10. So the answer here is that you will need 10 gallons of a 12% solution to be mixed with 6 gallons of a 20% solution to end up with, well, 10 plus 6, 16 gallons of a 15% solution. So the answer is you need 10 gallons of the 12% solution to end up with a 16-gallon solution of 15% salt.